happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday, everybody. How you doing? How y'all doing? I missed you guys so much. Um, I did. I'm going to jump right into it. But first, let me just go on and say what I always say. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Thank you for watching the videos and the ads. Till the end. Yes. Okay. Like, share, comment, and help your girl out. Hit that subscribe button. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. My bell. Ring, ring, ring. What y'all know about that? Okay. Ring my bell. Anyway, I'm going to jump right on into it, you know. <laughs> I like to bring my true self to y'all because I love my channel. I love my supporters and I have to keep doing what I do. I have to be me. And I love my supporters. I love to talk and and encourage you and give you you know a little bit of of um, experience of my experiences of life you know what I'm saying because if I can just reach one person it, there's I, there's billions and billions and billions of people in the world I know that there is someone out there that needs to hear what I'm saying. So. But you guys. Um, it's, I know it's been a while since I did a car chronicle. I've been in a funk you guys. Um, this pandemic and I'm so serious. Being at home. Thank God. I'm thankful I work from home. But since this pandemic. And I've been, you know, isolated. Um, there's nothing to do out there in the world. You know, no movie theaters, no, you know, you, you, I, I don't have to go through the list. But, you know, there's a lot of things. Everything is shut down, you know. And then you're stuck in it. So I work from home. And then I'm, I'm, I'm home 24-7. So what that did to me, or what it's doing to me, I, I, I have too much thinking time on my hands. And it's a trip because sometimes we need that. Maybe this is what I needed to be shook up. Maybe I needed my, my shoulder tap. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing so much soul searching so many things I've been thinking about so many things that I'm not happy with that I ignored you know things inside that bothers me that I ignored and being shut down like this, I, I, I think I'm falling into a little depression. And it's a trip because I am not the only one. Since this pandemic, with business are, is closing down, going into bankruptcy, laying off, you know, there's nothing to do outdoors, really. Everybody, there's, everybody's going crazy. I know I'm not the only. They said that alcohol and, um, no, I think it was just alcohol. Uh, sales went up by 40, 40 uh, percent.
And um, see, it's how you deal with 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 your uh, stuff, okay? Because we all are in this world. We all are going through this pandemic together. But there has been so many fights, so many killings, so much negative stuff going on right now. Everybody's going crazy, but they're doing it in different ways. And um, we need to get it together. And I'm saying that, speaking of myself too. But since this pandemic, let me get back on that. I have been doing, I have no choice, but to think of, you know, my mind has been going there. I've been thinking about myself. Think about the things I don't like. Think about the things I'm disappointed in. You know, um, I'm not so much as paying attention to the things I've done, okay? Um, I, I haven't been thinking positive, positively. I haven't been thinking about my accomplishments. I haven't. And that's not a good thing because I don't do that like that often. But since I've been home, I've been digging into myself. I'm home basically 24 seven, unless I'm going to the grocery store, running an errand, you know, I'm home. So I've been, I, I've been going to the source. See, when you got shit going on, you can't always, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't always look at well, okay, let me put it this way. We need to look at the source. What's making you act that way? What's making you talk that way? What's making you feel that way? What's making you do the things you're doing? What is making you act the way you act? Feel the way you feel? We have to get to, to the core, to the root. And that's what I've been doing. And it's like, damn, I wish this pandemic was over. Because this is stuff I never wanted to deal with. You know? And it's a trip because as you get older, that's another reason why I'm doing all this. Thinking and trying to change myself. Because our time is so limited here. It is. We don't know when. And I'm getting... It's like I'm, I ain't ready yet. I'm not ready to go. I, I want to start living. Okay, I'm over. What my mama said, you need to get it together. You over a hundred. Look, you ain't half a hundred. You over a hundred. You over fifty. Okay, you hitting. I mean, 60 is right at the door. I thank God that I, I still look young and I got a young soul. People don't believe I'm that old, but I am. It's, I'm right, I'm coming up to the door. I'm about, look, I'm gonna be ringing the doorbell in a minute. What if you say, <coughs> excuse me, what if you say, I love me some view. Of you say, I'm shit, bitch. I'm trying to get cast, get ready. Well, that's what I'm doing. I want to live the, I want to live. And I don't want to be miserable and unhappy and bitter. And I want to talk to you guys about that. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I want to be truthful and I always talk to you guys. I miss my car chronicles. But I want to bring this to you. I don't know when I'm going to do another video. I'm going to try to keep doing it as much as I can because it helps me. Hold on. Let me turn my light back on. So, I don't even... Uh, so, what was I saying? Oh. 
so I don't even remember what I was saying. Because look, y'all, when I tried to turn my light back on, the whole camera fell, and I had to redo it. I, let me see, let me figure. <laughs> look, I mean, where was I at? I'm telling you, I'm just got a lot on my mind that I wanted to bring to you guys. And um, I have so much. <sighs> so what I was, okay, I remember now. We have to look at the root of things. The root of it. That wasn't what I was saying. I dropped my camera. I dropped the whole camera, y'all. And now I, I really I don't know what I was saying. That's why I don't like to get interrupted when I'm in my zone. When I'm in my zone. God, I don't know what I was saying. I know I was talking about the root of things. What makes us act the way we act and do the things that we do. Oh, I want to be happy the rest of my time. Because I don't know how long. But being at home is helping me. Even though it hurts. See, a lot of things that, that are good for you. It's not always just like medicine. It's good for you. It's going to heal you. It's going to fix you. But it don't taste good. So sometimes when we're working on ourselves, it hurts so bad to open your eyes and look at things. But in the long run, it's going to do you some good. It's, gonna, it's, it's, it's best for you. And I needed this, you guys. There was things that... <clears throat> Excuse me. That I've been holding inside, you know, um, about issues with my father. As old as I am, people don't realize how damaging we can be when we're damaged and have when kids. When we're damaged and have kids, we're broken and then we have kids. You know what I'm saying? But we're human. But there were some things that I have put deep inside myself and didn't want to think about. But I need to think about them. Sometimes we need, just like if you want to remodel your house, you got to tear it down. And when you're looking at it, you be having everything all over the place. Your floor is full, full of wood and plywood and all this stuff. And you'd be like, damn, it's a mess. But as you start fixing it and remodeling every day, you're going to look up and your whole kitchen, living room, everything fixed up. Whole house is just that's how it is with ourself. We have to fix ourselves. I mean, people are 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 on social media going crazy. Saying hurtful things. Hurting people. It's like you can't go nowhere outside on the internet. Nothing. Pete, we Pete, we're hurting. Some, a lot of us were broken. What I want to encourage you guys today, I wanted you guys to know that I'm in a funk. Being at home. <clears throat> Excuse me. 24-7 is driving me crazy. It's I'm, I fell into a little depression. Um, I can't really go out. Because I cough and can't breathe. And, you know, the underlying, you know, the age. When you start getting older, you start having all kind of stuff going on. You, this old body ain't what it used to be. Okay. 
So, I haven't been doing my car chronicles. And that's been bothering me. It's been really bothering me. Because I don't know who you are or who they are, but I know that some of the people that support me, they lay in the bushes a lot, but I know that there's someone out there that appreciates what I'm saying and misses it. They, they, they really enjoyed it. I don't know who you are, who they are, but I just know. And it bothers me that I haven't came to my channel. I was like, you know what? I be real all the other times. Let me show them I'm human too. I am in a funk right now. And I need to go back to my roots. Now, I didn't say I need to find the root of the things. Now I'm talking about go back to my roots. Remember the person that used to talk to me as I grew up and, and, and as in my adulthood. Remember the things my grandmother told me. Remember the things my great-grandmother told me. Remember the things my mama told me and is still telling me. Look, okay. That best friend that you got, now I'm saying in general, we need to go back to our roots and remember those people. I named off my people, but whoever it was in your life that supported you, that believed in you, that encouraged you, and you lost yourself and you forgot about the things that they said or the things that whoever said to you. Stop, reflect, and remember those people. Remember those things. That's the first step of healing ourselves. Then we can work on the root of things. And then once we start working on that, the time that we have left on this earth, we can finally enjoy. How sad is that to go through life unhappy? There are so many unhappy people out there. And they throw their unhappiness off on other people. Just like I just went and got some chicken for dinner. Then I'm going to take home and make me a salad to go with it. And I was like, thank you. Have a nice night. And she just looked at me and and shut the window. I went on and drove off. Look, it's not my fault that you, you know you have to be here, and you can't not be here. See, people be going through their own shit, and they throw it off, and and we take it in, and we take it personally. There was a time I would have took that personal, but you know what? It's not me. It's whatever she's going through. We also have to remember that we can't take everything personal that people say about us. How they or is, how they treat you. We can't always take that personally. I just want to give you a little encouragement. I want to tell you about what I was going through. I want to be open and honest with you and tell you I'm going through a funk right now. I wanted to come and connect with you guys and tell you that I truly miss you, miss doing my, my talks, my car chronicle. I miss reading your comments. I miss me. This pandemic has... I miss me. So I want to encourage you, anybody out there that 
is going through health issues, financial is issues, job issues, personal issues, drinking, whatever it is. You can get through this. We can get through this. I'm throwing out good vibes for each and every one of you. I want to tell you that I truly miss you. I will be back soon. So I got to end, <coughs> excuse me, with my trade mark words. Don't you be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air. Face all frowned up. Keep your nose, your face level. Don't be walking around. Because you're feeling a certain type of way. And things are not going the way you want them to go. And things are not going on in your life the way you want it to. Don't take it out on someone else who had nothing to do with why you're in the place in the space that you're in. And don't let nobody do it to you either. Don't you do it to them. And don't you let no one do it to you. Don't you let anyone steal your joy. You know, sometimes we have to really fight and work hard to have joy. Sometimes we struggle to get out of bed. And you do all that and then you start feeling good. You know, you finally start fighting for your joy and, and you do feel good. And then you're just going to let someone take it. You're just going to give it away. All that hard work you did to get it. Don't you let nobody steal your joy. And don't just give it away. Don't just hand it over on a silver platter. <sighs> I will be back soon. I will. I want you guys to pray for me. Throw good vibes out for me. We all are going through something during this time. And it's affecting us in different ways. The, w the way things are in the world today. We all are going through it. In some kind of form, shape, or fashion. Let's try to be kind. And understanding to one another. Before you hurt someone's feelings. Think about your feelings. Put yourself in that situation. Would you want someone to say or do that to you? We got to do that. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, please comment. Thumbs up the video. Help your girl out and hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you in another video. Peace.